Hey buddies, how are you all? Welcome to Brahma Learnings. Today we are going to discuss about how we can load the data from local CSV file to Snowflake table using Snowflake user interface, but not uh, SQL worksheets or any other Python, uh, Python programming languages. So, as I mentioned, we can load the data using Snowflake UI. So, uh, I have downloaded the file from Kaggle. This is the file CSV file having uh, lacks of records actually and i just want to load this file to snowflake table uh, in order to load any file uh, into snowflake we first need to create one table actually so now i'm going to create the table uh, here whenever you create the table right you need to define the columns uh, the column names will be uh, need to be uh, taken from this uh, file and we, you need to give the exact column otherwise you will get the issues whenever you try to load the data so be careful uh, while creating the table or uh, you can simply do like this so you can click here and uh, take this and uh, somewhere you can place here okay these are the column names so you can do some uh, cleaning like this and you can take these column names and create the table so i have uh, i have my <coughs> own sql here uh, to create the new table so i'm going to create this table the table name is product table australia so i'm using create or replace if it is already available uh, it will replace it with the new structure so let me execute this so table name is successfully created i just use it I SQL worksheet to create the table from now onwards I am going to use snowflake UI to load the data so once I come here there is uh, there will be an option data you need to cl click here and uh, once you come into uh, databases and my database is data uh, Jeshwin DB and I have created the table under public uh, schema you need to uh, expand tables and there should be table right so let me refresh it so i need to expand it now so here is the table uh, whenever you <coughs> uh, look for the schema uh, here also you can uh, uh, you can see the sql actually and if required you can uh, change the sql uh, by uh, open uh, this particular uh, definition table definition uh, SQL worksheets okay here you can see columns schema okay and uh, uh, data preview uh, we are at to load the data right so there will not be any data and copy history copy history will be nothing so now I just want to load the data so whenever you come here and you look for some table right there will be an option load data and you can load the data using two ways first you can place the data in stage and you can browse it and otherwise you can browse your local file directly file size should be less than 50 mb actually that is the limitation so i have my uh, files here So it is about 26.2 MB. This is the important area where we need to uh, give some uh, inputs actually. File format should be uh, delimited files. CSV is nothing but comma separated values. Comma is the delimiter actually. So here the important uh, option is uh, we need to skip one line for the header the meaning you can keep uh, as is no problem and uh, this is the another important area where you need to uh, <coughs> put uh, some uh, uh, concentration actually so uh, let me tell you uh, my understanding so what should happen if an error is encountered while loading a file so we are loading uh, data from local CSV to Snowflake uh, uh, table, right? So whenever uh, we started, uh, uh, there might be 
chances of getting or uh, uh, come across some errors right so uh, it is asking us to select an option if uh, an error is encountered while loading a file but there are two options actually do not load any data uh, uh, if uh, an error is encountered and it can, we can also give some on error is equal to continue it will load only valid data so let me see uh, it, it got failed actually number of columns in file 22 does not match that the corresponding table having 21 use the file mismatch so something is not right there. as per this one uh, uh, the particular table is having only 21 but uh, uh, file is having 22 we need to look at it you can click here so So there are 22 columns in Excel sheet. This is correct. And what about this table actually? Oh, okay. I think uh, if there is one column. I'm going to use string actually. Let me recreate the table. Uh, you got it right. I forgot to add uh, one particular column. Name is index. As you see here, uh, our CSV file starts with the uh, index column but i forgot to add that column to the table now i have updated the table now now let's see i'll try to load the data again now index column is added to the table definition now let me try to load the data Like this, we generally get multiple uh, multiple uh, files to load the data uh, from local or from other sources to the uh, Snowflake table actually. So there is one more issue with the run date column. So what is run date? So here there is timestamp, what about my table definition? Oh data, it should work right. Okay, let, let me take this one as, as a string for now. So in real time, whatever is not working, whenever we load the data, right, uh, we can initially take that uh, particular column uh, as string once we load the data if required we can also change it accordingly or uh, we can keep as it is from our end our uh, reporting team can change it from the end based on the requirement so now i have updated that column and updated the entire table definition let me load the data again let me refresh the table definition actually so here you will see run date is now uh, where care I'll try to browse the file again and submit it. It should work now. Super. Uh, data is loaded into table but partially i will look at it mm, i think uh, there are 
1,6,862 rows, but uh, it, it loaded only uh, 61,160. Uh, looks like there are some errors. I will have a look at them. Yeah, once you load this, uh, once you load the data, you can query the data immediately uh, from uh, SQL worksheets. So select to start from the product table, limit 10. Limit, it will limit the number of rows to be fetched actually. So uh, for uh, testing purpose, we can, uh, uh, whenever you use star write, it will try to fetch all the data and it will take uh, time, uh, yeah, more time to fetch the data and it will consume more resources on cloud. So it will be expensive matter whenever you uh, go with the select star. Uh, that's why uh, we generally suggest end users to make use of uh, select uh, required columns or uh, limit the uh, number of records actually for testing on that. Uh, if I if you want to see some hundred uh, records, you can do like this. So now I fetched hundred records. So so this way we can load the data from local CSV file to Snowflake table. Let me uh, tell you what exactly I have done. I have created one table under one particular DB and schema. I have created one particular table. After that, I have gone through. Uh, uh, Snowflake user interface actually. Once you log into Snowflake, there will be an option data under data. You need to select databases under uh, databases. You need to select uh, your schema uh, and the table. What you created to load the data in this table. Once you <coughs> once you select the table, you can click on load data and uh, browse for the file, and you can try to uh, load the data. Uh, sometimes we get errors, uh, we need to fix them and we can uh, load the data. Okay. 